Matt Hun here with MDH Technologies. Welcome back to session number four on our Windows 8.1 tutorial. Once again, it's Matt with MDH Technologies. And uh, today we're uh, doing tutorial number four for Windows 8.1. And uh, today I am going to cover BitLocker. So BitLocker is uh, a uh, feature that was included as of Windows 7. Uh, however, Windows 7, uh, the feature rather wasn't included in all versions of Windows 7. So it was available in uh, like the Ultimate uh, and some of the other uh, high-end packages. It wasn't included in the professional version. Um, but basically the uh, function of BitLocker is to encrypt your drive. Now uh, this can be used for a couple of different things. Um, one, you could actually encrypt the operating system drive or commonly C drive. And what that would do would um, require a password uh, before the computer will actually boot. You also have the option of storing the password or the encryption key on a USB drive that you can plug into the machine and uh, you could boot the machine that way without actually having to physically enter in a password. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use BitLocker on a uh, portable USB drive. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug that into the front of my computer. Okay. And you'll see that here, removable disk D. The first thing you'll want to note is the disk must be formatted in NTFS file system, NTFS file format, um, in order for BitLocker to function. So, in order to remember what disk this is, I'm just going to rename it. There we are. And since it's already formatted, we don't need to do that. But if, if you do need to format your disk, you can just simply right click on it and go to the format option. Although, if there's data on it, you will lose everything if you format it. Additionally, uh, you don't want to format your operating system drive, which I don't think Windows would allow you to do anyway. However, so here we are, we've got our disk in the drive, and now we want to encrypt the drive or turn BitLocker on. So we just right click, we go up to the top of the menu here, turn bit, turn on BitLocker, and um, use a password to unlock the drive. So we're going to go ahead and enter our password. Alright, so we've entered it and entered it a second time. Next. So, how do you want to back up your recovery key? Save to your Microsoft account. So, if you have a Microsoft account, you can back it up that way. Save it to a file or you can print it. So, I am going to save to a file and I'm going to rename it something that makes more sense to me. The name of the drive ought to do. So USB drive at home. Okay. And I'm going to save that in my documents. Next. Okay. Now at this point, it's going to ask us, how much of the drive do you want to encrypt? Well, we've got two options. Encrypt, use disk space only, or we can encrypt the entire drive. You'll note that the first option is faster and best for new PCs and drives. The second option notes that it's slower but best for PCs and drives already in use. So since I just formatted this drive before starting the session, and um, I'm going to consider that a new drive since it was just recently formatted, and uh, this is the faster method, there's nothing on it that I'm worried about losing, and we're just going to go ahead and go forward. If 
you decide to go with the sec second option uh, where uh, you encrypt the entire drive then uh, you'll need to obviously wait until that completes and that could take some time depending upon how big the drive is so we're just gonna move on and um, it just asks us uh, basically if we're ready and we're gonna hit start encrypting so it's already completed and um, actually no it's not completed I'm sorry oh yes uh, the message does indicate it's complete so to go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and test this and uh, the first thing we need to do is remove the drive from the computer okay and we'll go ahead and unplug it all right and we'll go ahead and plug that back in and you'll notice in the upper right hand corner unlock drive D this drive is a bit locker protected so you could click on it and it would give us a password box so we could enter that at this point in time okay or you could simply go to your this PC or my computer however you want to reference it and double click on it you'll notice that the lock is locked and once we put the password in here it will be unlocked great and it shows us all right thank you